different, really. But when they came together at Radio 2, you know what? It worked. The end. There is a land of great diversity and incredible natural beauty. There is a land where 53 countries sit side by side, but not always comfortably. There is a land where a thousand different languages unite more than 700 million voices. Welcome to my land. Welcome to Africa. Take a fresh look at Africa on TV, on radio, online. Africa lives on the BBC. Charlotte Church and Sir Bob Geldof join Jonathan Ross tonight at 10.35 here on BBC One. Tonight on Top of the Pops, Stereophonics perform their new single. James Blunt joins us live in the studio. And Rachel Stevens is here with So Good. the 10th of June. Liverpool are back in Europe, Batman is back on our screens and I've got a really weird spot at the base of my back. Sorry. In other news, here's Rachel Stevens.
kicking, scuba diving, sexy there. That was Rachel Stevenson. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do own one of those weird black rubbery hats. Still to come on tonight's show. Easy. Still to come on tonight's show. Uh, we got the Stereophonics, we got James Blunt, and we got Funeral for a Friend. They're big fans in the house. Uh, not forgetting the UK's number one too. Now, next up is a pint sized RB star who's being held as the next king of RB, and he's got a pretty cool boss in the form of Ludacris. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Valentino. Valentino, you know how we do. It's another one. Oh, I saw you walking down in London. You look like an angel straight out of heaven, girl. I was blown away by your sexiness. Now all I have to do is catch up to you. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. about this tall, about the size of a 10-year-old boy. Now, next up, we got a band who have been around for 10 whole years and who are, funnily enough, this week's high... Chuck me the Bobby Valentino. And this week, funnily enough, they're this week's highest entry as well. Now, along with, along with them, we got this week's run now from 20 to 11. That's your album and your singles chart. Give it up. It's the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Massive after 10 years there, that was the Foo Fighters. Now, next up is a man with a very impressive CV. Now, he's been in the army, supported up with John. He's about to do Glastonbury, and today, doing Top of the Pops. Give it up for James Blunt. My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel. Oh, that I'm sure. She smiled at me on the subway. With another man, but I won't go sleep on that. I've got a plan. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. I saw your face in a corner.
Stop dancing. The soundtracks of people snuggling all over the UK there, that was James Blunt. Now it's been seven days, music has been made and played. This is 24-7. Thanks. Everyone's talking about Coldplay this week. The winning formula of X and Y looks like being their biggest album yet. Chris Martin told us about the inspiration behind Speed of Sound. We're trying to express feeling of awe, which so many things that I used to take for granted suddenly started giving me, maybe because of having a baby, maybe because of suddenly appreciating everything we've been given. This week also saw the release of new albums from The White Stripes and The Tears, and the forecast is looking promising for the months ahead. It's a great time for British music, as well as the big heavyweights like Coldplay and Oasis over the summer and into autumn. We're going to have uh, big albums from the likes of Franz Ferdinand um, and from the streets as well. So there's loads of stuff coming up. Here's a first look at Missy Elliott's new single, Lose Control. She may come under fire for her heart-hitting lyrics, but Missy says she's just getting her freak on. You know, I always got to say something off the wall and make people be like, huh? I mean, hey, Madonna did it. Why not Missy? The Black Eyed Peas have squashed rumors their current album will be their last. Fergie says it's all a load of monkey business. Every journalist who walks in asks us if we're breaking up. And we're going, where are people getting this? Is that the stupidest thing ever? We, we created an album and we're going to break up? Finally, 50 Cent gave us an exclusive performance of his latest single, Last Time He Flew In, to do the show. We can only play you just a little bit because the lyrics are even racier than Candy Shop. If you want more, you're going to have to listen to this one in the club. They're the biggest British band of the past five years, and they've sold over 18 million albums. Now, Coldplay return to Top of the Pops to stake their claim as one of the biggest bands in the world. See Coldplay perform an exclusive track from their new album, X and Y. Next week, on Top of the Pops. Don't forget, check us out next week for that exclusive Coldplay performance. Now
now though, fresh off their UK tour. This is Funeral for a Friend. Phone. direct from Toronto with a very exclusive performance just for us here at Top of the Pops. This is Stereophonics. Yeah. 
Ruffy, friendly, old man, sideburns, okay. That was a stereophonic. Oh, cuddly. Now, though, here's this week's chart rundown from 10 to DOS. Dropping to 10, audio bullies with Shot You Down. Brand new at 9, Blue Orchid from the White Stripes. Gwen Stefani is a non-mover at 8 with Hollaback Girl. Coldplay and Speed of Sound falls to 7. Don't Funk With My Heart climbs to 6 for the Black Eyed Peas. Amory drops to 5 with one thing. Foo Fighters are a new entry at 4 with Best of You. Back up to three, Gorillas with Feel Good Ink. And moving up to number two, Akon with Lonely. We're just ordinary people. We don't know which way to go. Sorry, just caught me having a John Legend moment there. It can mean only one thing. You did it again. Crazy Frog is number one. tomorrow from 4 to 7 p.m. on Radio 1 covering for Big Bad Bald Uncle Trevor. I'll be back next week at 7.30 right here on BBC One for more Top of the Pop. Take care, have a good weekend. In seven days on Top of the Pops, you two perform City of Blinding Lights. It feels just like it should with Jamiroquai. And Coldplay perform an exclusive album track all next week on Top of the Pops.